my primary role here is overseeing the clinical programming offered on the mental health unit. I've been working on the build out of this unit since its infancy from design, furnishings, programmatics, all of that to deliver this unit. And so what's the importance of having the mental health unit here? We talked a little bit about this last year when this was all still kind of in, in its infancy, but now that it's open, what's, the, what's the, the, the sort of the key factor of having all of these different things together in one spot? The driving force behind it was integrated care delivery. We want to make sure that people get the right service at the right time in the right place. We know that Dell Children's has been a key provider in this community for many years, and people come here to the emergency department frequently seeking mental health services. What made sense for us is to develop the program here, where people already know they can come to get quality care and provide for them an exceptional level of care, being able to treat not only their mental illness, but any co-occurring medical issues that may arise, and really just providing them with the top-notch access to all of the resources that Bill Children provides. Now, how, how active has the unit been? I mean, this is a very, very brand new location, so how, have you seen a lot of people here? Last month, we served over 90 unique patients on the unit, um, as well as uh, numerous individuals who were admitted into our intensive outpatient programs as well. Now, so the, the Rooster Teeth community over the last couple of years, we've been raising money for the, uh, the, the healing garden, the Rooster Teeth healing garden here. How has that sort of affected the, uh, the patients you've seen? It is one of the patient's most uh, exciting parts of the unit. They love it. It is a space for them to have outdoor time. Uh, we know that being in the hospital for se several days is not ideal. You're um, removed from family and friends and often need an outlet. Um, we treat kiddos as young as six and everyone needs a physical activity. Uh, Research also shows that physical activity helps with dealing with stresses, mental illnesses, and so that space is amazing. With the basketball court and the tables to sit and engage with friends, it really shows that we can have a holistic approach to mental health care and not just what is within the walls of the hospital. Now, we have a lot of people watching us right now on the stream. Is there any sort of advice or tips you can give to them as far as mental health, like dealing with it, or maybe they have a friend that has it? Like, what, what can you tell for them? Uh, one, you are not alone. You know, everyone at some point in their life is going to be in a position where they need to ask for help. It is okay to ask for help. Um, if you see someone struggling or you're concerned, ask them how they're feeling. Um, ask them if they just want to have a conversation about it. Uh, being open, being honest and transparent about how you're feeling doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you any less of a person. In fact, um, being comfortable with asking for help and, and speaking out is the first step. And do it with someone that you trust, be it a friend, a parent, a teacher, um, anyone that you feel like you can share those feelings with is, is really ideal. And uh, we're all a part of the great journey of life and we're all going through it together. So uh, feel okay about it. And be brave. Well, thank you very much, Brandy, and uh, congratulations on this beautiful facility, and we hope you know, Rooster Teeth will be a part of it for years to come. We hope so, too. We're excited about the partnership. We're excited about the community um, involvement and really hope that this is an opportunity to really reach out to individuals who may not otherwise know that there are resources available to them. Thank you very much. If you're concerned that you or anyone you know might be struggling with a mental health issue, we want you to know that you're not alone. There are resources that can help. Mm -hmm. In the United States, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-8255. But if you're not comfortable calling somebody up and speaking to someone on the phone, there is another option available. You can just text HOME to 741-741. That's text HOME to 741-741. It's really important that you know that you're not alone and that there are services available to help you get through a crisis or to get through a tough time. And, you know, we're so grateful that you're here with us today and watching this, and we love you so much. Yep. Don't hesitate to reach out. Remember, you're not alone. And that's going to do it from Dell Children's Hospital. Thank you again, everyone tuning into Extra Life right now. It's awesome. We really, really appreciate all the support you've given us over all of the years. So thank you again. This really is 
one of the most important things that we do and we couldn't do it without you. This is all you guys. So thank you so, so, so much. Yeah, it's been such a cool experience getting to walk around and see so much of what you guys have helped accomplish. And I can't wait to see uh, what we can accomplish together this year. So let's get to it. We are back. It is RT Extra Live. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Hope you're having yourself a lovely morning. It is 11.09 a.m. Central Standard Time here. We've been going for just over three hours. It's been going incredibly well. Thank you so much for watching our video. Um, we've been working with Dell Children's Hospital now for about five, six years. Uh, we've gotten very close to them over the last couple of years. And as you saw in the video, um, your donations are going to support the brand new mental health unit over there at Dell Children's. And uh, actually, I have Katie here. So we, ha uh, we have, th sorry, this is Mike, by the way. <laughs> I realize yeah, he's sitting right next to me. <laughs> Mike, uh, Mike runs Extra Life. So he's our friend. He, we've worked with Mike for a long time now, and uh, he's been kicking ass. Last weekend, he was running his stream for 24 hours, flew out to Austin to be a part of this stream, which is super badass. So thank you very much, Mike. Thanks for having me. We'll talk to you in just one All second. Right. Yeah, Mike, but stop talking. We have, a very, <laughs> we have a very, very special letter. Um, so we have, you know, as you know, we've been working with the mental health units over at Dell Children's, the Healing Garden, the Rooster Teeth Healing Garden, which you guys have been supporting over the last couple of years now. Uh, it has, it's, it's amazing. It's a beautiful place. Uh, we've been very fortunate to actually go visit it. Um, you know, it's we try to, you know, we, we, very, we pick our times because it's open to, you know, the, the, the kiddos there. So we want to make sure to, like, not get in the way. Mm -hmm. But we received a letter, Katie, from, uh, from someone, a parent, actually, mm -hmm. who had a child, uh, you know, uh, over there in the unit. And uh, if you want to talk about this, that'd be great. Yeah, so I do want to... Um um, I, I'm going to read this letter. It won't take very long, but I want to say um, as a trigger warning that it does uh, talk about suicide. So um, if that is something that is a little uncomfortable for you, then now is the time to kind of just maybe mute this, the stream. Okay, so this is from a father of a young girl who was admitted into the uh, mental health unit of Dell Children's Medical Center of Central Texas, which of course is where the Rooster Teeth donations go to. Okay. Dear Dell Children's, as the father of a child who has now spent time in both inpatient and outpatient care at Dell Children's new mental health unit for a recent suicide attempt, I am writing to say thank you. When I got the call that my 17-year-old had attempted to take her own life and our family found her perfectly written suicide note on her phone, I, desperate, I felt desperate to get my daughter the care she needed. Dell Children's was the most friendly and responsive team taking care of everything from insurance arrangements to the ambulance transfer from the hospital where she was stabilized in ICU. As soon as we set foot inside this new facility, it was so bright and clean and quiet and beautiful, it gave our family a really positive sense of hope. Everyone there was so kind, from the social workers down to the security guards, and those uh, are the kinds of people who really make a difference. While she was an inpatient, we were always able to call and meet with the doctors and nurses and felt very informed every step of the way. The facility itself made such a difference being able to use the cafeteria and go spend time outside in the gardens. My daughter is vegan and being able to bring her favorite foods and snacks and make sure she had her teddy bear made her stay so much more comfortable. Then when she was released and we learned we could also do her outpatient treatment at Dell Children's, I felt so relieved. Knowing that the same team would be a part of her ongoing care gave us so much reassurance. 
They have helped with her schooling and even given our family tools to better communicate with each other. And this, ther this therapy has really felt like our therapy. I can't imagine if we had to send her away somewhere and she had to do this all on her own. We were all in it together at Dell Children's and our relationship is so much stronger now. My daughter wrote her suicide note to her siblings and in it she said she was sorry for not being as strong as they are and that she just couldn't do it. Through this experience we learned that she had been battling these feelings of anxiety and depression for years before it had finally boiled over and she could no longer hide it from everyone. Being at Dell Children's with so many other families has helped all of us feel better knowing that we are not alone and given us a chance to learn from other parents and other kids' perspectives. I am so grateful that we didn't have to send her away and separate her from our family. And even though there is still work to do, we are on the right path and I will always be grateful to Dell Children's. Thank you for helping us save our daughter. So that is a pretty powerful <laughs> letter. Um, and, and I think a really um, moving um, reminder of what the donations from you guys does, what it goes towards, what it contributes to. I think that's really special and it, it really grounds us and, and reminds us of what this is all about. Yeah, um, and, and you guys have made all of this happen. You guys have done so much amazing stuff uh, with Extra Life over the years and contributing to RT Extra Life and it, it does mean the world to us. And I just wanna say thank you to Mike for coming out again. It's it's incredible. So what's it, what's it been like working with Rooster Teeth over the last couple of years? <laughs> A blast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, take take this stream and times it by 365, right? Yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it, it's, pre it's pretty wild. Like it's, it's been a lot of fun working directly with you and like Extra Life United's coming up yeah. next year. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I, um, if you guys have been watching the stream, there was a promo video about it. But um, Extra Life United is really our take on what an esports tournament could be, right? But for charities. So we've got hospitals sending gamers down to compete on their behalf, and we've got a prize pool of about $150,000 for people to play games and unlock that money for their local hospital. But I'd say probably the uh, the best part is, and you guys have been there, right? Like mm -hmm. the, the meet and greets with the patients and the families, and you get to meet the kids that you've been fundraising for mm -hmm. year round um, and, and really see that their spirits can't be broken. Like yeah. regardless of their situation, they are the happiest people in that room and, and people gravitate to them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. You're going to be around for a bit, so we'll yeah, talk to you a little absolutely. bit later. But we got to get to it now. Uh, thank you so much, everyone who's watching. Don't forget lead donations. we got the Wheel of Vengeance. But now we're going to throw it over to the RT Games team who never fail to just totally gross everyone I out. Know. So we're going to go outside and throw it to Cricket and have some fun. Here we go, everybody. Cricket, take it away. You guys ready? Can you guys hear me? Hi. <laughs> it looks really warm in there. It looks really warm. This is a bad idea, games team. Uh, my name is Cricket. I'm the community manager for the games team, and I have here a bunch of the members of the games team with me and a couple people from a few other departments. We wanted to put on a good show for you guys today. Uh, we wanted to raise lots of money for the Miracle Children's Network and Dell's Children's uh, Hospital. Uh, we're really glad that we were asked to come back. I don't know whose budget our bail money came out of for last year. Um, our names have been cleared. We're back to making games, and we've got an awesome game for you guys here today. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to some of our contestants slash victims. Uh, we're going to start with Josh Bal Ciceris. Did I say that right? Josh? No, no. Jo How do I say your name? I'm sorry. I'm, Sir. I'm really shy for the camera. No, I'm just kidding. What's up, guys? Uh, Balcasteris. Balcasteris. Josh Balcasteris, and he's the art lead. Uh, we call him Grandma because he keeps the wheels on the bus, and sometimes he lets us lick the spoon after he makes brownies for us all. This sucks. Yeah, this is going to be rough, guys. Uh, Josh, what video games are you playing right now? Uh, I always play Dota 2, and I play uh, Overcooked right now, and uh, Day by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Uh, are you excited to raise some money for some kids today? I'm super excited. My body's yours. Please donate. So fucking pumped right now. Uh, next, we've got Kevin Kim. Where's Kevin? Kevin is our level designer. Uh, we dragged Kevin back from his beach vacation to do this today. That's not a lie. We actually dragged him back from his beach vacation. Uh, less than 24 hours ago, he was in the sun working on his tan, and now he's standing here in 40 degree temps, ready to have uh, cold water dumped on him. What a fucking champion. You're a fucking champ, dude. Uh, yeah, it's for, for, for the kids. It's for the kids. Um, what are your top three favorite video games of all time? Ooh, uh, Final Fantasy VII, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and, uh, oh wow, now I'm brain dead. It's Chrono Trigger, it's Chrono Trigger, he loves Chrono Trigger. Uh, and what is the, uh, what is the best thing about working at Rooster Teeth, Kevin? Working with all of these clowns. 
That's us. Uh, Ron was not able to make it today. So we're gonna move it to George Panga uh, from the events team. George is brand spanking new to Rooster Teeth and he joins us from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, he, like many other employees here at Rooster Teeth, actually rose through the ranks of the community. Um, and now he's here and he's gonna make events like RTX extra amazing for you guys. Uh, what do you like most about the Rooster Teeth community? Uh, the people, obviously. Um, you know, they make it fun to do things. Uh, if the people suck, then everything else would suck. So, you know. Good answer. Um, what physical ability slash trait would you want to be known for? Your super speed, your super strength, or your intelligence? Super speed? Yeah, super speed. Too easy. Yeah. Easy. He was ready for that. Okay, thank you so much. We're so glad to have you here, George. Uh, then we've got Chase Shields. Chase, where you at, buddy? Chase Shields is our senior animator. Uh, he makes things move on the screen for you guys. Uh, so he's like the equivalent to that kid uh, who sat on the back of the school bus and was obsessed with making flip books. But now he does it professionally. So, kid who sits in the back of the bus and likes to make flipbooks, one day you could work at Rooster Teeth and be Chase Shields. Uh, Chase, what animations inspired you to go into uh, animation? Uh, Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. That's a, that's a good choice. Which uh, which character? Uh, Sully. Sully. Sweet. Um, and you are on a desert island and have to play one video game for the rest of your life. What do you bring? Overwatch. Yes. Choice. There's a lot of variety in, in Overwatch. I feel good about that answer. Thank you, Chase. Uh, up next, we've got Christian. Is I'm gonna I'm gonna is it Philip? Christian Philip. Christian Philip. Uh, he's also new to Rooster Teeth. He's an also a level designer. Uh, international man of mystery. Uh, I think he was voted most likely to have his own Tumblr dedicated to Selena Gomez. Is that true? That's true. Okay, Selena Gomez fan. Big fan right here. Uh, he also makes levels uh, feel fun and intuitive or extra complicated for you gamers out there. Who is your favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Michael Jackson. That is not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but I'm, we're, we're going to accept it anyways. Which video game universe would you want to live in? Halo 3. <laughs> Dude, he was fucking ready for that. Thank you so much, Christian. Uh, and then we've got uh, William Venice inside. Did I hit everyone? I didn't hit you, Chris. Where don't are you? Me, man. man, I don't want to hit you. Oh, don't hit okay, Chris, Chris, I've got, I've got a little write-up with you over here. Uh, oh, oh, Chris. Chris is from the animation team. He's the audio lead in animation. So he makes all those cute anime girl squeal sounds. Uh, and Ruby, that's Chris. He does it himself. I do what now? You, you make all the cute a anime girl scream sounds. Is yeah. that you? I was told that, that was you. I was, was definitely told that that was Chris. That's not making me blush at all. Um, he's been with the company for a super duper long time and is responsible for making sure our audio sounds polished and, uh, and makes sense to you guys. Um, so who is uh, who's Ruby's best girl? Uh, which, uh, what? Yeah, is that yeah, a best question? girl. Yeah. Yang, all day, every day. Oh, yeah, uh, right chat, right? Uh, wh why are you hurting so many people's feelings in chat right now? Uh, because that's what I do best. I'm sure chat is like erupting into, into debate right now. Uh, what element comprises a majority of the Earth's atmosphere, Chris? What was the question? <laughs> what element comprises a majority of the Earth's atmosphere? What? Why? Why do I get that question? I don't know. Someone asked that question. They thought you should be able to answer it. I can. I don't know. The answer is nitrogen. All right. Nitrogen is the answer. Comprises a majority of the Earth's atmosphere. Why can't I choose what favorite video game character? Oh, thanks, okay, Chris. Wait, keep working on your anime squeal sounds. All Thank right. you. Good work. Wow. Shit. Oh. I got messy fast. Uh, Markel. We could have Markel step up. This is our senior Cuban correspondent. Yeah. He moonlights for us as our 3D artist. Markel makes oh. games not look flat and pop up and look realistic. Who wrote this? Without Markel, we would be making all side scrollers. That is all a lie. That is all a lie. Um, John has 32 candy bars and eats 28. What does he have now? Four left. No, he has diabetes. The answer is diabetes. John has diabetes after eating 28 candy bars. What is your favorite thing your mom cooked for you growing up? Cuban beans, for Cuban sure. Beans. For sure, yeah. Thanks, mom. Another cigar, bro. Another cigar, bro. Thank you. Look, he's Thank so you. Cuban, he even showed up with a cigar. So you don't cute. get better than that. So uh, and then we've got Nicholas Silvera, our senior oh. technical artist. He also tells me he's a level 60 mage. Um, I have no idea what a technical artist oh, is or beard. does. It probably involves a lot of numbers and geometry. Um, you're probably just that guy who comes up in conversations and like pushes the bridge of his glasses up his nose and goes, well, technically speaking. Um, is that true? Uh, I have no idea what you said. Okay. I'm afraid that this camera might actually take off six inches of my height. Okay. So that's something I'm a little afraid of. Okay. Um, it's all about the angle. It's all about the angle. You're, are, um, are you excited to raise money for kids today, yeah, Nick? Absolutely. I love kids. I have a kid at home. And I got
got shot in the back. Nice. If 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 you could swap bodies for the day with another member of the game team, who would it be? Oh shit. <laughs> Probably Josh. Probably Josh. Which yeah. Josh. Because I don't. Like, oh, I Josh. Heights are about the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. That's a good answer. Safe answer. Okay. Um, I think that is. Did I hit everybody? Yeah. I think I hit everybody. You got the two inside. Oh, and then we've got David Eddings, the head of publishing, is actually inside right now, sitting on the couch. And then we've got William Venice. Uh, do we have any questions for, for them? I'm not sure how easy it is to throw the camera. Nope, okay. Um, <laughs> I think with that, um, we're going to go ahead and... Find our favorite spots. The game. So if I could have Team SS Skidmarks over here on my side. I don't know which team I'm on. Um, we're going to go ahead and give you the down low on the game that we're about to play. Um, it's going to be super shitty. Uh, All right, I'm on the other we're side. We're going to be playing Battle Shit for you guys today. Uh, for those in chat wondering right now, that will not be in the RT merch store anytime team. soon. Chase, uh, it's for your own good. Um, think life-size battleship, except real people will represent four warships, and uh, we'll have oh, yeah, shot callers inside staying warm. Well, Lucky for them. Um, when one of the shot callers successfully hits one of the coordinates, a corresponding person on the playing field will be hit with, well, a bucket. Of, of shit. <laughs> and that's battle shits, guys. Um, members of the games team, go ahead and take your positions. My mic, too. <laughs> oh, no, don't, I don't think you should lay down. I think that's a horrible idea. Nick, it's not much more surface area if you lay down, anyways. Just up or down. Oh, it's me? Am I the correspondent now? Oh, 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 I don't know what to do. Uh, 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 Wayne? Are you playing? Um, All right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like do it. super excited about this. I came out here and I saw the, uh, the water that we're about to get dumped on our heads, and it's, it's really nasty. I made two little witches it's legs. pretty gross. There are them. chunks of stuff in there. I don't know if I should be holding any technical gear where this is happening. <laughs> it just seems like a horrible idea. I'm sorry in advance. Uh, I'm sure this is Nick's microphone. This is a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Let's why are we it. laying down? That's the rules. No, it's not the <laughs> rules. <laughs> no. It's the it's the rules now. Hey, you have to lay go. down. No. Oh man. <laughs> Who's no? <laughs> Now we I don't want to hold the camera. microphone. We have, to, we have to rely on our, our strategy. I don't know. Okay, they right. gave me it. All right. They saw me in their like audio guy microphone. I have more beard to stroke, so it makes me feel better. I am. I'm an intellectual. E6. Okay. You got it. All right. Am I going first? All right. Tell me, just point to me when we're supposed to start going. Let us know. Somebody give us an audio. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, by the way, we didn't get to introduce William, uh, or Will I Am, as he's known around the office. That's me. That's him. Yeah. So he is my opponent uh, for today. So I'm a battleship right. champion. All right. So I think I'm supposed to. Uh, my first move is E6. E6. I'm throwing it out there. Is that a hit or a miss? How would I find out? <laughs> it's, a it's a hit. E6 is a hit. Who'd you get? Yes. <laughs> All right, E6, putting it up here. Here's a hit. Actually, I should put it down here as well. I guess, Will, will I Am, it is your turn now. Uh, All right. I have placed, <laughs> I have placed my, 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 my shits around the board. And, All right. Uh, and you're supposed to guess. So now, now my turn picks the shit. Okay. Yep, yep. All right, well, I'm going to go with F8. 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 Is it at a F8. hit or miss? Is it a hit? All F8 right. is a hit, Jesus. We're, we're uh, speeding up the game here, are we not? All right, now it's uh, my turn again. How, are, how long are these ships, by the way? Are they like three segments long or four segments long? Or is they're, a whole, they're as big as a person. Okay, all right, right <laughs> on. All right, so um, <clears throat> my, uh, my next move would be C7. 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 Is that a 
Is that a, a shit or a miss? <laughs> oh. Damn it. C7 is a miss. All it's right. okay. Well, I know for sure that there is someone at D6. Is that right? How do you know I, that? I know for sure. How do you know that? Because I'm a battleship champion. Of course. I, of course, I forgot. D6, is that a hit or a miss? Ha! Oh. Well, clearly they're moving. You speak They're moving truth. out there. All right. Um, I'm guessing that they want to spread apart a little bit. They don't want to get shit on accidentally by, like if somebody else gets mm, shit on them. That makes sense. They don't want to have shit splashed on them. They don't want no shit splashed. So I think, I'm thinking that these folks might be spread apart. I bet the corners are taken. So I'm going to go with C5. <laughs> C5. Please tell me it's a shit. Shit! <laughs> yes! Damn it. All right, I've, I think I recognize the strategy here now. With them trying to well, stay out of shit's way. That may, <laughs> that, may be, that may be what your team is thinking of doing, but I think they're doing the opposite strategy. I think they're all clumped together, trying to throw me off, so. You think shit clumps together? Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm gonna go with E8. E8. Ah, it was a mess. We're keeping score. I think if we are, I'm two to one. I'm beating the battleship champion. Well, if we were playing the golf. self-proclaimed battleship champion. I'd be ahead. If we were playing golf, you'd be yes. ahead. That's fantastic. All right, I am going to, uh, my next uh, move is C8. Another corner spot, C8. Mm. <laughs> oh, fine. Frank and fine. Yeah, all right. Okay. William. I clearly see that my, my thought process was wrong. I'm going to go with F5. 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 Mm. God damn it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, D8. I haven't had a D8 in a long time. Oh, really? Yeah, I keep getting turned down. Yeah, no. All right. Would that be <laughs> you just get that? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. What? Okay. Oh, I know. I know. Well, this isn't looking good. Uh, now, you only have four players on your team, right? On something, your side. Something like that. Is that correct? Because so far I've hit three. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's concerning. Yep. Um, I would go with E6. E6. Are you sure? Yes, I'm you sure you want to do that. That's my final answer. Okay. Yes. Oh, damn. All right. Well, getting closer and closer. Okay. It's going to be good. Three to two right now. I'm keeping score up here. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, hmm. Boy, all of them are. I think that, uh, and I'm just feeling lucky on this one here, and uh, I'm going to go with. Uh, fuck, E5. 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 Yeah. I don't feel really great about it, but. but mm. I, oh. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to eliminate the ones that are empty. Sounds like I'm <laughs> going to make a comeback here. All right. All right. I am going to go with C8. Charlie eight. Wait, that's already been taken. On your C8's side. C8's a miss. Charlie eight is a hit. Charlie hit. Ooh. Whoa, wait a second. <laughs> it's not just one. It's a hit for you. God damn it. <laughs> you can pick this the good. squares. This is good. Oh yes, hell yeah! We have we have different sides. We have different boards. Okay, I thought the board was yeah. It's All battleship. Right. Boy, I've been, Don't I've you been, know the rules? I've been uh, I've been looking at. My, I've been doing my board wrong now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, all right. Then I'm gonna say uh, E7. Echo 
Seven. Has that already been taken by me? I'm not sure which ones I took now. <laughs> <laughs> that would be David. David. I am, am going to go with C5. <laughs> All right, so we've tied it up. I'm now confused. I know, I I'm no at idea. four. I, I totally did my board wrong. I was putting your misses and hits down too. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, F6. Fox six. Fox trot six is a miss. All right, oh just got one more to find. My intuition pulls me to D7. Delta 7? Delta 7, miss, miss. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, uh, I'm also gonna call D7. Delta 7 on the other side. Oh, this is immense. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Let's see. People are drying off out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Can't have that happen. I know. That's why I'm going to hit the person at F6. Fox six. Will or David? It's Will, Will. yeah. Oh, damn. All right. Uh, is that everyone? Is that it? Did I get everyone? Did we have more? Did everybody get hit? You, get, you got four? Am I a winner? I have five. You have five. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Do we have more hits out there? Or did we get everybody? Hmm. <laughs> Okay. All right. So we're team? just so we're just going. We're just going to get everybody. Is what we're going to do. This That's is not really about do. winning. This is about this is about <laughs> this dumping is about shit pain. on everybody. This is about pain. This is just about dumping shit on the people out there. Hey, Chad. Which one should I call? I just want to. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, how about uh, D five? Delta five for David. Delta David five is a miss. Hmm. Well, you got a hit on what E six? I, I got echo. Yeah, I had a hit on E6, didn't I? Is that the Doesn't one? If that's where you're going, or down there. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, you're right. I, I, uh, I, I think you're playing backwards, man. I did. I totally played it backwards. Well, are you're they playing blind now? Yep. Are they laying across the tiles? I believe so. Oh, you know that changes yeah. everything. Oh, I had no idea. I'm gonna go with uh, F7. Box trot seven. Will Foxtrot 7 is a hit, hit, hit. Ooh. Not I'm time. not sorry. No, all right, all right. So, uh, e, E6. Six. I did. Okay, I thought I did. All right, how about D6? I'm playing, I'm playing blind. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Not everyone can hang with the champ. I thought we were playing a fake it's version a of Battleship. It's a miss. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I am going to go with D8. Delta 8. Well, Delta 8 is a hit. Great. Oh. Wow. Oh, feels good. All right. Feels good to be in here. Does it now? It does. <laughs> Okay, E8. <laughs> Echo Collusion? For David. <laughs> David, Echo 8 is a hit. There we go, now I'm seeing. Echo 8 is a hit. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Do we have anybody left? Josh, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Are there any clean people out there? Sit down, Josh. <laughs> that is the final clean person. Everybody has been hit at least once. All right, so I, I, know, I know where else is my, my, uh, my hits are then. So go. All right. Yeah, I didn't know they were laying down either. We're going to do E5. Delta 5 is a hit. 
Echo five for Will. <laughs> I heard an oh no. No. Suspense. Echo five for Will is a myth. That's all right. Oh. So, how about C six for me? Charlie six for David. I'm getting word that that is a miss. You hit them all. We we all hit them all. Oh, we oh, hit them all. All right, all right. Hey, all congratulations. Right. Uh, I don't. I think we just. I think you won. Did I? I think they all won. Who won? Who's the winner? I think, I think we're the winners because we didn't get shit on us. <laughs> is that true? Did we raise any money, by the way? I have a feeling that we probably lost money on this one. Did we lose money? Hey, look at that. That is a big number. Cool. That's all from us, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah perfect. Yeah. Look at that, yeah. William. started. It's fantastic. Battleship makes my great, great, great view. I want to I wanna line them up again, and we should actually get a chance to like, tell them where we want our, our pieces. We could, that way we can do it over here. They have to line up, and then we can do it again. You want to play another game, or do we have time for that? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's not my call. It's not like it's <laughs> Q&A time for the next 20 minutes, is it? We got 22 minutes. Do we? We had we, another we have, game. Yeah, we have, we have time for another game. We have another game planned besides oh, okay. Battleship. Oh, well, then we can't do that. I, uh, I just wanted to show you guys. I made little uh, uh, Wicked Witch of the West legs uh, out of little <laughs> Battleship stuff. So I like that it. was kind of fun. I like it. That. Can't, it's hard to get them to curl up without Dr. breaking Dr. Seuss shifts. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to, when we, when we finish, I'm just going to have them sticking out like that right there. <laughs> Here we go. Ta-da. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Can we, can we go outside and actually see them? Yeah, let's, let's I do that. See, I want to see the I wanna, pain I've been I want to see all the... Uh, Right on. Congratulations, Will. Let's go and see the damage. The champ is here. All right. <laughs> you got so much See, how do y'all look? Excited. How did that feel? Oh, my God. smell good. You guys smell really good. You want it? That's why I came early. That's true. This is what happened. I'm going to do your Oh, David, are you are you ready? Okay, so we're going to change now or later. I know, right? No, 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 you stay because we're actually... Are you ready, David? What am I doing? No, I told I told David. Oh, you. I told David. I told David. Man, no, it's Probably not with the mic. Let me know when we're... I don't I don't know when we're live. Do I hold your watch? I'm dressed up as Spider-Man. I'll take it for Eddie. Is he going to do it for me? I might throw it on the floor. No, no, no. It's for the kids! Oh, I'm on? Hi, everybody! So, uh, the losing um, shot caller on team, what is the team opposite of SS Skidmark? Uh, SS uh, Swap the Poop Deck. Um, the, the poop deck shot caller now has to have the remaining shit dumped on top of him. So, David, for the kids, your team is going to now immerse you in shit. Did you just ask your boss to take his pants off? Someone give me a hug. Someone not covered in food water. I think we'll, we'll get you over here where, where it's already messy. Uh, SS Poop Deck, can you please record on the battlefield? Right here. Why not? It's nice, it's nice and poopy already. Come on, Team Poop Deck, you and you. <laughs> All right, you guys have to grab that right there. Nope. This is for this right now. Never thought I'd have anything in common All with right, Trump, but apparently it's, it's looking like Let's it's uh, it's about to happen. 
Uh, that's terrible. What, what am I supposed sport, to do? What a sport, Dave. What a sport. Oh, I was talking. Nobody had any idea what I was saying. What I was saying is, can we somehow raise a little bit more money for charity right now before I get all this poop water dumped on me? I'm pleading, ladies and gentlemen, just throw nickels. Just throw nickels at it Ready? if you can. Anything. Three, oh, my God. All right. Two, one. <laughs> It's for the kids. It's for the children. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get ready for the next segment here. So, um, <laughs> uh, for our next segment, we're going to be showcasing a never before attempted uh, team wine relay. Very rare, never before seen. Uh, when we heard fancy people drink wine and then spit it out again, we got really, really excited and thought it was time we got all fancy for you and spat some wine out for you and for the kids. Um, so, how this is going to work is the teams will take turns spraying super soakers filled with wine into each other's mouths. They'll get about a minute to do that and then they'll swap off. And then the first team is going to, um, each team is going to fill their uh, their spit buckets or pitchers um, up to the two court mic. Or is it two quarts? Two quart marker, and uh, and that team is going to win. Um, uh, the teams are faced with a difficult decision whether or not to drink their wine or to use it toward their team's victory. So if I could have Team Poop Deck over here to my right, and uh, and and Team SS Skidmark over here to my left. You are your poop deck. You're, you're on the right hand side. You're on this side, Mr. Poop Deck. Uh, do we have our super soakers filled? Yeah, that 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 bad boy's got to get filled up. You ready? All right. Your time has come. So one person in the front is going to be responsible for spraying wine into your mouth, and then you're going to want to, as quickly as possible, fill your team's pitcher up. We'll be swapping off once a minute, every minute. No, we're not drinking. That was originally on the table. Not drinking each other's spit juice anymore. Not about to get that juice today, ladies and gentlemen. Not getting that bread today. Um, okay, so uh, team, um, team uh, Skidmark over here. And uh, Josh, you look like you're pretty good with that squirt gun, so we're gonna go ahead and have you start out as a designated squirter. <laughs> you're gonna stand right here for me. Uh, Nick, Kevin, over here. And uh, who wants to be the, the designated uh, spray? Who wants to be the designated sprayer over here? Do we, uh, do we get this filled up? Um, you're gonna be you're gonna be taking it first. They have to take the bag to the bus. I gotta be <laughs> okay. You can take it first. I've never used one of these. I'm I'm a. I was never allowed to have squirt guns growing up. So could, do me a favor. Yes. I think Cricket just had an epiphany. <laughs> Do you... Are you okay? You're yeah, good? I mean, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm not on your team. I'm over here. Uh, Kevin, we're, Chris, we're going to have you first. Um, we're going to have you second, and then George, you're going to be last. Once a minute, we'll swap off. <laughs> Okay. Designated squirters, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so like, okay, hold on, Markel, it's not rocket science. Or is it? There we go. We're gonna need, we're gonna need, would you crack some of these? Okay. Okay. I need someone to hold Let's see, not not too sure. I'd, not sure which team is which actually. But I heard Josh is Catholic, so so I, I think that gives gives his team an advantage. 
That is true. That is true. They, they've got the gear. They've got the spirit. So, so it could go either way. It could go either way. <laughs> oh, geez. You need to aim higher. <laughs> I think they're having trouble reloading their, uh, reloading their wine blaster here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Nick. Oh my god. What, was pointing first blank faster than, uh, than what it was before? Oh, Jesus. You have any words? Oh. words to say? If they could swap, you could swap too. Whoa, what is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> I just want to point out that the goggles are on top of his head when he could be having them on his head, in his eyes. Markel! Markel, pull the goggles down! They <laughs> Just pour it right in the bucket. Wow. If they can cheat, you can cheat too. Congratulations! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this was a bad idea. This was a very bad idea. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. They cheated. They cheated. You cheated. You're a bunch of cheaters. I think it's, I, uh, I believe that wraps up our game segment. Um, are we going inside for the wheel now? Ladies and gentlemen. We're out of time. We're out of time. Thank you so much, everyone who joined us for uh, the RT Games segment um, at Extra Life. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back inside the studio. 
That was the RT Games team. Those guys are absolutely bonkers. Oh my goodness. Cricket has so much energy. I really, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, it's, I feel sad. All it, her stuff is now red. <laughs> well, at least that one set of stuff. Unless you're referring to like her skin, then yes, absolutely. Um, I just posted on my uh, my Rooster Teeth profile a mm -hmm. journal which shows all the different raffle things, and I've explained a little bit more, so if you want to go check that out, it's pretty awesome. Extralife.roosterteeth.com. If you go there, you can scroll down, see all the raffle prizes, but if you want the more information on what they are, you can go to my journal entry and check them all out. So and I just posted it. If you're already donating, why not just add a zero one or a zero two to the end of whatever your donation amount is, because then you get drawn, you get entered into a raffle, which will draw, and then you might win. Absolutely. Very exciting. Do we have the full 24 hours to donate? Yes, we have we all 24 hours to donate, and also if you donated last weekend too, during the, uh, like if you did a lead, uh, we should also mention too, oh, yeah. lead donation. Donations. So lead donations are awesome. It's one thousand three hundred thirty-seven dollars, which is crazy. But also, if you if you donate a lead donation, you are entered into every single mm -hmm. prize. Yeah. So oh. whether or not you want that, I, I mean, you're that. you're you're in. So yeah. Mike's so excited. yeah. So it's actually it's more economically feasible, I think, if you do that. So go ahead and just make a lead <laughs> donation instead of, instead of donating one time. Just make a lead donation. Boom, you got them all. all and also, them. every time we get a lead donation, we spin the wheel of vengeance, That's which true. is going to have a lot of uh, very very terrible things on. It. It's lots of fun. So, mm -hmm. anyway, Mike, how you feeling so far? Excellent. We are. What are we? Four hours in? We're we're Almost we're coming up on four hours. The first. Uh, what well, I don't know. What, what what time is it? I'm already losing it, my mind. It's... It doesn't feel like four hours though. No. no Although not... I have already drunk a McMosa, which I swore I'd never do again. So. <laughs> the McMosa. Yeah, those, those that... things are pretty rough. <laughs> they are so, the worst. So what what is okay? You've watched a lot of RT Extra Life. What what is your favorite kind of bit that you've seen during RT Extra Life? During <laughs> for for an outside perspective. From I'm curious. Outside? I'm curious for you. Uh, werewolf. Werewolves? Yeah. Mm. Ah, well. I get sucked in those late <laughs> those late night hours, yeah. and then it goes into just the elite donations going crazy after crazy after. Oh crazy. Yeah. Spooky, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I'll, you'll Love be happy werewolf. to know werewolves are coming back this year. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's going to be happening a little bit earlier this year instead oh, okay. of later. But uh, yeah, because we have the Japanese game shows moving forward a little bit. Nice. But that's, too spooky, we'll be back. That's it's... why Shifty Larry got his nickname too, is because we were playing werewolves, and he was like sweating, and he looked so nervous, and he was just like. <laughs> He just kept moving his eye. That was me moving my eyes for people who aren't actually <laughs> listening. That to okay. <laughs> They're just listening, not watching. They're like, what if she went quiet? What's that? Yeah, he was just like moving his eyes. He was like real nervous. And I was like, Larry, you look so shifty. Shifty Larry over here. And they're like, that's his new nickname. Yep. So it's my Kate, favorite thing I've ever contributed. Katie gave someone a, a whole nickname. So that's <laughs> pretty great. I gave him um, an identity. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I love that. I mean, it's the, my favorite stuff is just the stuff that's completely unexpected. When things mm. just kind of happen, it's like, like I'm so happy I was there. Blaine with the three, was it three skulls? Yeah, coming yeah, out yes. of the two. Spooky. The tinfoil Spooky. Yeah, the pans. <laughs> Blaine showing up in the uh, his his cap and gown from when he graduated college. He and literally graduated college, came right here. Oh, seriously? Yeah. And he, yeah. The next year, or the year after, he had flown back from Australia, and he came with a cow with a hat on, a cowboy. I don't know what we call him, a cowboy hat on, and uh, <laughs> and his hiking backpack. Yeah. And he just showed up, and he's like, "What's up? I'm here. I landed three minutes ago." Yeah. I mean, yeah. that doesn't work out, but you know what I mean. But man, it's 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 so great. And don't forget too, we also have our gamers. Over over there as well our game mm -hmm. our game guys are still playing we've got eight machines going on uh, i think if you go on youtube right now you can watch them looks like they're playing golf with friends <laughs> uh which is always fun and uh yeah so if you're watching on youtube you can see you can do the alternate channel and see them going they've been playing the whole time mm -hmm. and they're gonna we have we have different people rotating out throughout the all 24 hours because i mean really when it comes down to it you know we have our shenanigans we have lots of fun but we are playing video games and raising money for kids and mm -hmm. so uh so here's your opportunity to see some gameplay so and that's new this year right uh, we've had that before, but we're, or we've got the, the second the channel. channel is yeah. new. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Last year we had a behind the scenes cam, which was fun. But I think also uh, it, when you make a set hot constantly, like people are terrified. Like, oh, I have no, f I have no space, I have no privacy at all. So yeah. mm -hmm. I think we went to that. We might bring that back next year, some form of that. But we'll, we'll see. Like so. one area maybe. And don't forget, we do have merchandise in store.roosterteeth.com. I was going to say in the store, but I figured I'd link it to you. <laughs> store.roosterteeth.com. Yeah. There's a banner at the top. It's nice and blue. You click on that, and then everything that you buy in that section of the store goes to or the profits for it rather goes to our extra life donation this year that's so. right that's right and so uh you can see our total right now on the wall we've got two hundred and forty six thousand four hundred seventy two dollars mm -hmm. but once you toss in the merchandise total right now we are looking at four hundred eighty six 
thousand three hundred eighteen dollars. Oh, we are just shy of half a million dollars already, which is absolutely incredible. We're not even four hours into this thing. <laughs> we're already almost half a million dollars, and. I know you guys can do it. We're trying to get up to one and a quarter million dollars tonight mm -hmm. um, by the end of it all, which is just insane to me that uh, that that is even like like saying one million dollars to me was like, oh, my God, like that's ridiculous. But the idea it's like, oh, let's drop another 25 right. percent on top of that. It's like, like you're now speaking in millions. Yeah. Yeah. Like we're talking <laughs> like, you know, seven figures. Oh, yeah. Let's knock out seven figures. No, no worries. It's, it's crazy because uh, Katie and I were looking it up. I think so. I've, I've always said like when Jeff and I did it back in 2010, mm -hmm. we thought it was like, oh yeah, I think we raised like 20 grand. We actually raised two thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. so I added off by a factor of ten. So <laughs> Jeff and I played for 24 hours and we raised two thousand bucks, and we were like, holy crap, we did it. And now we're looking at you know 486 thousand already. So it's it's mm -hmm. incredible how far this community has come, how far this family has come, and um, and just all the positive work you guys are doing with Dell Children's Hospital is just incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a whole freaking healing garden named after us, and that you can drive by and you can see your you can see yeah. rooster teeth on the wall as you drive by the hospital. Please don't go into the hospital <laughs> unless you have issues and well, need to be in the hospital. That's why we couldn't, because we really, really, really wanted to call it um, the Rooster Teeth Community Garden, a Community Healing Garden, I think, but it was the name was a little bit too ambiguous and that it seemed like it was a community garden that anyone could go into. Yeah. And of course it has to be kind of sectioned off uh, for privacy and, and whatnot. But Jack actually uh, visited there for an event a couple weeks ago and uh, did a tour of the hospital and he went outside into the healing garden and some of the patients went out there. And, and I wasn't even there, but Jack telling me made me feel so emotional because he just said these kids were out there just like playing basketball, like hanging out in the gardens, talking. My favorite was that they were just laying down in the sun. Yeah. And I'm even getting <laughs> emotional thinking about it now, like talking about it now, but they were just laying down, enjoying the sunshine. And to me, that was just really, really special that these kids who, who were uh, in circumstances of, of um, distress, the camera keeps changing, uh, of, of, you know, distress and um, it just it's such a nice place for them to go. And you guys have just helped facilitate this and created this space for them. And we are so grateful. Uh, and the hospital is so grateful. Extra life is everyone's just grateful. <laughs> we're all just very grateful. So. Just lots of positive energy mm -hmm. happening right now. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so we're trying to update. So right now we've got our board up there. That uh, what you see behind us on the wall over there. Actually, I don't think we have a wide shot. That is our total. You're seeing there. It is. Uh, <laughs> that, that's the total you see. That's just been donated to the super team, not including the merchandise. But we are going to. We're go. trying to change it. We're getting all the merchandise up as well. So uh, don't forget, you can you can donate. There's there we go. There's the wheel of vengeance. There's some prizes. <laughs> we're going nuts. We're getting crazy with it. So uh, you can you can donate right now if you go to extralife.roosterteeth.com. That's our homepage. There's donate buttons. Click on that. Buy some merchandise. It goes towards the total. We are four hours in into a 24-hour stream. So we have How many hours do we have left, Jack? 20 hours, Katie. <laughs> Jack kept it's, asking me, and I was like, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I don't know. How carry many? the four. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be lots of fun. So I, I'm very pumped. And right now, I'm actually I'm going to be leaving here to go set up with our tattoo artist because we're going to have a tattoo artist giving some live tattoos. And I think I'm first up. So uh, I'm going to go head over there and set that up in just a little bit. And then uh, you'll you'll I think he's going to be streaming on his channel. Mm -hmm. But we're going to cut into his feed every now and then whenever we have some of our people doing it. So we'll, we'll pu push out more information about that pretty soon. We got Chad it's back. Chad. Hey. Chad James, everybody. <laughs> we're going to get David Eddings clothes because he was stuck naked in the shower. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. I'm glad he had his phone to tell you, which I no. He it was a relay system. Oh, yeah. uh, was it him? Eventually, Bruce got to me and was like, "I don't." David's naked and he needs clothes, so I just thought I'd tell you. And I was like, "Okay, Aww. nice." It, it is super nice that we do have a uh, you know we have a shower that someone can go to. Uh, also, uh, it's funny because uh, or not funny, but uh, it's it's been interesting how Extra Life has progressed and sort of the additional asks and things that we need. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the first year we've had waivers. <laughs> so. well, this is, this is, I mean, I think we've always had waivers and NDAs, but this is the first time uh, broadcast was like, sign this, please. Yes, and like handed like, it to us with a pen and said, I need you to fill this out right now. Yeah, yeah. you probably always needed them. This is just the yeah, first time you've had them. Right, right. Yeah, officially done it. <laughs> and then, uh, and yeah, also, uh, it's the first time ever that uh, literally we have a Slack chat and someone's like, hey, do we have an Epi pen on site? Just in case, just in <laughs> case something bad happens. It's like, all right, yeah, we can figure that out. But um, real quick, I want to thank some of our sponsors, too. Um, thank you goes out to Asus for all uh, for ROG, Republic of Gamers. All of our gaming consoles are sent by those guys. It's super, super awesome. Um, they're incredible. They're incredible machines, and uh, we're mm -hmm. psyched to have them. Also, as one of the raffle prizes, you can win a keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad setup 
from ROG. So uh, you can check that out. If you see the gaming stuff they're playing on, you can win that stuff. So that's super awesome. Thank you very much, ROG, yeah. for hooking us up. Uh, Mondo is in there. Mm -hmm. uh, I yep. think uh, Restream is part is one of our sponsors. Mm -hmm. I should have really gotten a list open no, before I started talking. Uh, so we have EA as well, um, who donated a bunch of game codes to the raffle. Yeah, um, EA, EA hooked really, us up. really, really cool. Uh, There's like backpacks and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah mm -hmm. we, we actually have some backpacks over there. Uh, Activision hooked us up. We yeah. have two of the Call of Duty 4 uh, loot box packs, which are huge and enormous. You see one uh, over there? Yeah, they're, they're right <laughs> over there. Uh, oh, yeah. Herc Rentals hooked us up with the steamroller yeah. and all the lights we have outside to keep everything lit while we're out there. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Restream.io, that's one of them. Yeah. It was Restream. So Restream.io, thank you mm -hmm. very much because they're making it where we can go on Twitch, YouTube, all of our various channels. So mm -hmm. Also, a huge thank you to all the volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers that come out to help broadcast uh, run this whole thing. So I can see a lot of them right now. So mm -hmm. thank you guys so much. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, really, really. It all makes right. such a difference. All right. Well, so yeah, we're still we're still waiting to, to get the okay. Are we, are we good to go to show our video? All right. So we're gonna show a quick little video, <laughs> and after that, we're gonna come back and throw it over to Sugar Pine Seven to see what those crazy oh, kids get up to. Uh -oh. <laughs> get your money ready. My name it's is be lots of fun. My name is Chad Johnson. What's up, guys? I'm Lumen. Extra Life United 2018 has been 